what's good you guys it's your girl Courtney B here and we're back with yet another video for today's look we are gonna try our hardest we're going to attempt to slay a side swoop bang okay to begin with you're gonna want to part your hair in the direction that you want it to lay whether your part's gonna be on the left or on the side I typically like my parts on the left and this was honestly the hardest part of the whole tutorial because I I'm not good at parting okay I'm not good at parting I don't have my nails anymore y'all know Y'all know in previous videos I used to part my hair with my nails and now that I'm nubby by the hand, it's a little bit harder. Um, and as you can see, the part is a little bit wide, a little bit scattered, but you'll see how I fix that much later. Now I'm going to just part off my actual bang area, um, comb that out a little bit and clip that up. And I put the rest of the hair that I'm not working with just yet in a ponytail towards the back. Now you see me combing out the bang portion that we're going to use for the swoop and combing all the hair in the direction that you want it to lay. Now you're going to part out a thin section of that section of the bang section and you are going to clip away the rest of the hair and then apply the wax stick. This wax is going to help this wax stick is going to help this bang part lay flat and get it super duper sleek and let it stay in place until you are ready to apply it onto your head. And that's exactly what I'm doing right here. Applying the wax stick to the root and the um, front portion of the hair not getting it all the way down the shaft and then using my hot comb to lay everything down Nice neat and flat and sleek you feel me now you may be able to do the same thing with mousse I'm not very sure this is just the way I know how to do it or the way that I prefer to do it This is my first time trying this style But I would say that the wax stick worked pretty well along with using the wax stick to flatten down the bang area Also make sure you are putting the wax stick on the back of your hair This just helps the style look a lot more sleek and it also helps cover up the tracks towards the back when you are parting your hair that way you can hot comb those hairs over the tracks and it'll cover a whole lot better even though i hot comb the back of my hair this wig does have tracks in the back so it kind of was inevitable for it to be a little bit bulky towards the back once i put the wig on you'll see that during the install portion but i honestly believe that this hairstyle is best done on a full lace wig so just letting you guys know it's going to be a little humped up in the back but i did get as sleek as i could but you probably will have the best results with this type of sleek side part swoop thing with a full lace wig. Now that the overall bang portion is finished, I'm done with that. I'm going to work on the other side, which is the actual side and the edges that are going to be showing. I did not plug this whole unit at all. I literally just plugged the side that was going to be showing. Um, I do have an end-up video of how I do pluck, but I definitely did have to pluck the parting space and the sides that were going to have my, well, that I thought were going to have my baby hair. But I didn't go for any baby hair for today's look. So I will leave the exact video down below of how I in-depth pluck my units because the camera cut off at the peak of me plucking my um edges so yeah i'll leave it down below in the description box now as far as the install since i did pretty much style the whole wig on the mannequin head this part was super duper easy it was just a matter of me of uh, flat ironing the hair i did flat iron on um, the left side off of camera so i flat ironed the right side here on camera cut the lace off tack down the lace blow dried it um swoop down my bang a little bit more and then i was done you guys of course after tending to my lace you know matching the colors of my skin and all that type of stuff so i'm not gonna really talk through this part because you've seen me do it a thousand and one times i'm gonna be quiet let you guys vibe to the music and i will come back when it's time for the review portion of this video and you guys do not mind me laughing and talking during this whole clip because 
I was on FaceTime with my best friend and we were catching up and yeah, it was a it was a cool little vibe, you feel me? So don't mind me laughing at myself. <laughs> this is how the hair ended up turning out i am loving this step y'all know i'm not really one for a side part or for a side scoop for that matter but but this is really giving me like that girl like i'm really feeling like i'm that girl let's just jump right into the actual review portion of this video this hair is from elisa hair i've worked with them before in the past i'm not sure what video and this is their brazilian straight this is in the inches of 24 inches but as you saw in the clips i did cut off at least i want to say an inch so it may be 23 inches as of now honestly i'm not having any problems whatsoever with this hair only thing i'm gonna point out is that the hair does straighten pretty well get straight super duper easy but it does get a little bit frizzy okay this hair does have a lot of frizz a lot of flyaways towards the top when i was trying to train my swoop i did have a lot of flyaways towards the top middle part of my head so i had to use a lot of the wax stick in that area and those are commonly just called filler hairs what we call flyaways are really called filler hairs which is what some affordable wig companies put into their wigs and that's what they use to kind of thicken up their hair and to like meet their density quota which is 180 for this unit it's something you can easily fix by using your hot comb wax stick mousse 
gel anything you want to use it's just something you just fix with some product or just plugging it out and you're good like i said this hair does frizz so i recommend that you guys use a silkening serum an anti-frizz serum my serum isn't really advertised as being a anti-frizz serum but it does help silk out the hair very very well so what i did to kind of counteract the frizzing i put this serum in my hand and just ran it through the hair and the ends without flat ironing and it just kind of made everything run cohesive together but that's just a small minor detail that i thought i should add the parting space was great this is a 13 by 6 frontal wig so you have six inches going back and six inches on the sides as well which is great normally when you get a unit that says 13 by 6 or 13 by 4 you have that four inches or six inches towards the middle but then on the sides you may have like three or two and a half and that sucks because not everybody is a middle part diva like me some people like side parts you know i got a really really deep and crisp side part so if y'all are side part wearers there's no worries here you're really getting six inch what <laughs> you're really getting six inches on each side of your unit and all i do like this hair one thing i do want to add also is that when you guys come to straightening the hair i did not add the silkening serum bit by bit like i normally would do with my full straightening routine which is what i wish i would have done that maybe would have counteracted the frizziness a little bit more but since i was being kind of lazy i did not do that so that may be what's making my frizz frizz <laughs> possibly to avoid all that frizziness y'all can refer to my straightening routine my hair silkening routine to show you guys how i really in depth straighten my hair to get it silky silked out when i have time but today i'm just in a rush so i was just like okay sis is straight enough we we still popping period if you guys enjoyed today's video please do not forget to give your girl a big thumbs up and of course subscribe to the beehive down below Join the Beehive gang, the Beehive fam, because we are lit and we are never, ever bougie over here. Do you understand me? I need you to keep in contact with your girl because I'm your best friend. You're my best friend. We're all best friends. So add your girl on Instagram. <laughs> and yeah, as always, I love every single one of you. But until next time, my lovelies, your crown may tilt, but you never let it fall. Stay gilded.